The Purple Legendary Daring. Are you that confident in portraying the sect? With us it is enough to end your legend once and for all. You are being destroyed by so much power. I'll say it one more time, let's escape. You need to learn to master your power. Just look at how the years go by. I still remember when you were that little brat bragging about being the second female general. How low you have sunk to the point of betraying the sect. Running away as a loser is demeaning. After saying that, he launched to attack with everything. A quick blow was stopped by Senko, and another one was impossible to dodge, but that blow hadn't reached Senko's body. A mirror formed of Ki had reflected the attack, nullifying it completely. That girl is able to follow the fight between this old man and me, and intervene to help him. Goku backed a few meters back, after avoiding being hit by a key beam that came out of that divine mirror. She is placed on one side of Goku. Back off, I'll take care of them. Running away is demeaning, you didn't just tell me. You don't realize it, but you are losing, not to them, but to yourself. That could cause your death, but don't worry, I'll die on the line with you, I'm not going to leave you alone, let's go. Goku, how stupid would he give up his life for someone else's? Since you saved me, I decided that I would use my life to protect you and that's how it will be. Winter Ghosts Dark Imitation Goku was caught by the darkness that she had released. <laughs> you really are crazy, Makosa. It's still just as insane as it was in the past. This time you betrayed the Purple Surge. Very good. If you give me this head, we can overlook your betrayal. With the approval of Senku and Mia, two of the generals, Detsubo will surely forgive you. Come back! Dark imitation. Mastery of death completed. The darkness had let Goku out and he would quickly go into Kai. She started to scream. I was feeling immense pain. Yes, you are an idiot, but I like how strong you are. Didn't you betray him? So what did he do? Goku would place his hand on Chi's head healing all the pain she was feeling and restoring her powers. Shagane, give me armor. Flash Veloce Enko, having that speed. Do you need to defend yourself? This guy has one foot in the grave. Don't underestimate it. Also, Chi's gaze has changed. She is determined to protect that Osaru even if it costs her life. It's dangerous. It's not that bad. I am here after all. Are you ready? Reiki Reiki Reiki. A fierce aura shot out from Shi's body. That aura pierced the heavens. The power of the divine law of death had been exploited. Dark imitation, a self-created technique for herself. She was able to understand how great his ability was when he was able to use the beast powers he had consumed, and from there he came up with the idea of using the dark power to copy the abilities of living warriors. At that time, she had become the most powerful and most talented divine law of death. In the entire history of the Divine Sect, he has used the Reikiri, the first level before reaching the Devil's Wrath. How cunning. You didn't directly use the second stage because you wanted to see how much your body could resist. Come on Kai. Both Goku and Kai began to move quickly. Kai the Death. I'm sure your destiny was to become the most powerful Divine Law of all. Being the youngest, you have such control of your power. It is a pity that in this fight only one side will be left standing. Goku had attacked Jigan, but that mirror had reflected his blow once more. Goku's powers were no longer at 100%. The Akari was only being used at a quarter of its capacity, due to the internal damage that most of its organs had, and that the healing power of the demon was not able to regenerate so quickly, and the more time passed, the more serious it was his condition. However, he was not knocked down by pain, because his emotions were not present. Sanko for his part moved quickly, this time she was able to see him but not follow him. However, the clever Sheikah was not completely lost, she knew well that in strength she was not inferior to the veteran general, and considering that she had little hope. From her back, the veil Sanko was determined to take her life, her fingertips were filled with dark energy, with which she intended to destroy Shi's heart. You had a future and you wasted it. If that reincarnation nonsense is true, I hope that your afterlife goes better for you, young warrior. Go dead. Because of him I can't lose. Killer Domain. Chains of Darkness. The killing domain had landed on Senko's body, and that had reduced her speed by 60%. And just before being pierced by the surprise attack, a chain of darkness had brought Senko to a complete stop. Little brat. How is it possible that he can keep up with me? I couldn't follow you. 
You just fell into my trap. I waited until you were close to me to launch a killing domain, which is an aggressive pressure that invades your body, slowing you down and dulling your senses. Sanko, you're still very weak after fighting Goku. You will not be able to free yourself from my chains of darkness. I don't want unnecessary deaths, the ones I carry on my conscience are enough. Listen to me, my betrayal of the sect has a motive. Gatsuga tried to kill me to steal the blessing of death. Evidently, he plans to do the same to you, and he told the cult. Kronos, Kirai and Heavy were already used by him, and they ended up perishing. Do you think that you are special to him? Not at all. When you least expect it, you will be one more on their list. The presence of those three has indeed disappeared. Right now I am under his power. She has no reason to tell lies to save herself, with me losing. Getsuga never gave me a good feeling. In fact, I never thought I was worthy of replacing Zeus. His enormous power convinced everyone, but his intentions are unknown. I understand the fact of your betrayal and I agree, but that Osaru is still the natural enemy of the sect. Join us, Anko. Goku will defeat Getsuga. He is the only one capable of doing it. He wasn't even able to beat me. It's impossible for someone like him to defeat Getsuga. That's because Goku right now is not Goku. You don't know that great being who can generate miracles. He is asleep and will soon wake up. Tell me, did he use techniques on you? The killing domain I used to stop you. The purple demon eyes, his invincible armor. What you had in front of you was just a subject with great power, without the ability to use it. He has strength but lacks intelligence. And that's not all, the Osaru inside him is still asleep. You would be dust if you faced the real Goku. I guarantee that he can defeat Getsuga. The chains of darkness were cut by Jigan, who reflected Goku's attack back onto them. I'm sorry, I've only disturbed you. Something's wrong with me, every time I feel heavier. My ultimate power is not working. Thanks, Jigan. Zanko, how can you let this little girl subdue you? That little girl, as you call her, has matured. She is no longer a brat yelling at everyone that she would be a general. Now she has the strength to be one. We're at a disadvantage, Higging. My power diminishes by the second. No, Senko. From my point of view we have won. Suyosaro's movements are very clumsy. His body is in a pitiful state. She touched Goku's head to heal him. He had copied that power as well, but the damage was very serious. She could copy what Goku made up, consuming a bit of his being, but she could only use abilities with 70% of her original power, and that wasn't enough to heal what the Akari was doing to her body. Goku was lucky. He was a born wielder of Akari. And his soul was not consumed. Otherwise, he would have already died. What was consumed was his body. That he was not yet ready to withstand so much power. I'm even having a hard time breathing, damn it. You look terrible. With all that blood lost, I'm surprised you can still stand. I came here to have a little fun. You try not to bore me, Osaru. Jigane lunged at Goku for a hand-to-hand -hand combat. The immovable queen of the Divine Sect was not stupid. She had already realized that Goku's power was too low and it would not be difficult for her to turn this fight in her favor. I have the forbidden power. I won't let you go on living. Ghosts from hell. Extermination of worlds. Everything in a diameter of one kilometer was filled with darkness. I will consume everything. You'll regret getting into my fight. The blessing of death will not be able to break me. For your information, my body is the toughest in the multiverse. That darkness won't take an ounce of my energy. A powerful kick would impact Goku's face. Unexpectedly, he had dealt a lot of damage to the warrior who was once known for his incredible stamina. Goku was hit many times by Jigani. I was being torn apart. In addition to being resistant, she was strong and fast and the power that Goku had at that moment was not even at the level he had before entering the paths of stars. I didn't expect this to happen, Master. Is this really the end? Is your pride so much not to call me? The fights we had together in the past, don't they mean anything to you now? So beat it, love. I will die together with you. It's my fault for making you learn Akari. I won't let you kill Goku. Zenko, get out of my way. You just bother me. Prison of Darkness. Zenko was trapped in a cocoon of darkness. Even with the armor as weak as it was, I couldn't get out of there. Besides, it was not in his plans to go out. Since what Chili had told about Getsuga was not out of his mind. 
Show me your determination, divine law of death. If you're able to make it out alive and protect that Osaru, I'll take your offer to join you into consideration. But that woman is not that easy, she is stronger than me after all. This is the end for you, damn you. You gave us a lot of trouble. With your death, the divine sect will be able to live in peace again. Chaotic yet. Gigan's arm was releasing dark lightning bolts. The great force of that blow was evident. Goku as hurt as he was, had no hope of living after receiving that deadly blow, but Shaki loved Goku enough to give his life for his. He crossed himself to receive that blow instead, the blood that had come out of his mouth fell on Goku's face, which since the Akari woke up, had finally felt a chill that ran through his entire body. That woman he had sworn to protect had put her life on the brink of death to save him. Because you did, I'm not sure if I would have done the same for you. I appreciate my life more than everything else. I did it because I love you, Goku. This pain is nothing, and I know that the real you would also give his life to save me. Jigan, before you kill him, you'll have to step over me. Stupid woman, you're still just as pathetic as before, because I almost managed to annihilate you. Goku, just watch me fight, this is all I have for your sake. You have so many wishes to die, I will fulfill it, chaotic blow. Gigan's other arm filled with the same power. What are you doing? Why do you protect me? Even with ultimate power, even with forbidden power Akari, why am I defeated? Why is she giving her life to save mine? Watch me Goku. Imitation of darkness. Supreme spirit beast release. Zaru, the king of beasts. A huge dark Ozaru appeared in front of Shi, the great pressure that had fallen on that place. I pushed Jigan away, who was very close to hitting her. What is that beast? She death. What are you? How can you have such a beast inside of you? That huge Osaru, I know him, and for a moment I forgot about him. Zaru, mate. You're not by my side anymore, are you? After all, I was stupid. The least I deserve is that you have abandoned a piece of trash like me. I'm glad you chose her. I'm sure she's a better mistress than me. What the hell are you talking about, Goku? It's not the real one. You, Saru, I would never leave you. Stay inside of you. You finally woke up, Master. Those words were sincere. I could feel your heartbeat. You were sad. Right now you must feel the pain. Saru, you're still there. Forgive me. Supreme power is not enough. I need you. Would you fight one more time by my side? Of course I do, Master. But it will have to be next time. Your eyes are closing. You are about to die. The Akari hurt your internal organs a lot. Damn, I was already ready to die by your side. But I've changed my mind. Go ahead, Sarah. Dark Beast Explosive Strike. The huge fist of that beast was rapidly going towards Jigane. Don't intimidate me with that thing. Divine Mirror. Keep trying. I can repel all physical and energy attacks with my Divine Mirror. Jigan very confident in her mirror. She was surprised. A huge fist had shaken her body, smashing her fiercely to the ground. Unforgivable. You have passed through my divine mirror. That blow was pure physical force. Why did this happen? It's true, it was a physical attack, but this Osaru is formed with spiritual energy. It is not a fully alive being. Amazing. That girl was able to use a beast's ultimate release without having one. What awesome power. She is now like an Osaru without Osaru blood. Stand. I'm going to exterminate that thing. I won't let you. She was behind Jigan and had her palms on her back. It's extremely fast. A wave of energy impacted Jigane's back, taking the boost far away, crashing into everything that crossed her path, finally collapsing on a mountain, but without so many complications she began to stand up. Truly matured, he was able to attack me with such intensity, he barely got fully on his feet. A new blow shook her face, and a shower of attacks fell on her. Everything happened so unexpectedly that Jigan was not able to reflect the blows with her mirror. Goku's Reikiri technique is amazing. It's a pity that with my power I can't use the second stage. I must look for an opportunity to incapacitate Jigan and take Goku away from here. The strangest thing is that Senko has not tried to get out of the dark prison. I'm afraid it must be gathering key to attack me. I don't have the luxury of thinking about the pain Reikiri causes me. She was not a demon, he was not an Osaru, 
That's why he felt all the wear and tear of the secondary effects of using so much power, but his life was not in any danger. The Rari cause, in which Shia had attacked Hidane thousands of times and not even Shia had been able to knock her out. Her stamina was supreme, the title of the Immutable Queen was no joke. Of the many warriors in the multiverse, very few could deal significant damage to him and Goku was among that short list, only in his condition he wouldn't even be able to defeat Shuru Heyu who were at a lower level. The Phoenix Flames were healing the wounds on Chi's body, but the energy lost during the fight. He couldn't recover that fast. Goku, after much effort to stay conscious, passed out. Kai who looked at that got out of control, and began to attack more aggressively, and making use of ultimate release and her Reikiri, she was putting Jigan in serious trouble. Chi's blows did not cause as much impact as Dark Chosaro's, for some reason, his great resistance was vulnerable to that beast. I can't believe that bitch Kai is beating me up, if this fight continues it will take one of my lives. My stamina also has a limit, and I'm already reaching that limit. She's very fast and strong, and the wretch isn't even using the powers of death. Are you making fun of me? That old trick he's doing. I don't think he's not able to free himself from that technique. Zaru, Great Prison of Darkness. The Dark Osaru rushed to attack. Higain was ready to receive that blow, but when she was very close to her, it had exploded, forming a large dark dome, leaving her inside it. Have you locked me up? What do you want with having me inside? Won't you be able to beat me? Shigain was not listening to Sheet outside of that large dark dome, and her great presence was also gone. When Saru exploded, she was already flying in the opposite direction to grab Goku and get out of there. The Eye of Death began to glow. He was using the World Change ability, appearing in his territory, which was not inhabited by any living being, due to the dangerous poison that was around. You did pretty good woman. You have once again saved the master. You have abandoned the fight that you already had won. Winning or losing doesn't matter to me. All I want is for Goku to live and go back to how he was before. His condition is critical. I'm already using my key to heal his organs. I can help with that too. A large mouthful of blood came out of his mouth. You have your own problems. Leave this to me. That ability to copy techniques leaves you very exhausted. Although it was not a complete beast, the ultimate release puts a lot of burden on the body. Besides, you don't belong to the master race. If you were able to control it, it's because the healing flames of the phoenix were healing you and that reduced wear and tear. I'll be fine, I just need to rest. I will make this power my own and master it to protect it. Oh, Saru, please don't let him die. After saying that, she had passed out on the ground. She will be fine, only her key veins are empty. Now master, you need to wake up. Saru gave his life for Goku, and that was no exception, since Goku had returned to how he was before. He spent hours and hours repairing the organs that were completely destroyed. On the other hand, in Sanko's territories, loud screams were heard inside the Great Dark Dome. She death. I swear I'll end your life, bitch. I will not forget this humiliation. Hidane, who hadn't done well in that fight either, was very worn out, and that's why it took her a couple of hours to get out of there. Instantly, Senko had also broken out of the prison. Shigane looked everywhere trying to perceive she. Don't look for her anymore, Shigane. She's a long way from here. You must have an ability to change the dimension instant. Shenko, I came to your aid. Why did you let him escape? The least you should have done is stop her. That idiot girl has made a fool of two generals, don't you understand? That Osaru couldn't even move, it was the perfect opportunity to kill him. Jigan, is it so degrading that he escaped? Or is it that you don't get it out of your mind that if you hadn't, you could have lost a life? Jigan remembered what happened in the fight. As Kai had suddenly exploded in power, and had summoned the Dark Osara, and out of nowhere had been struck with no defense against them. It can't be too far, I'll find her and kill her. Leave it, Jigan. On top of that, she spared our lives, inside that dark prison, if she had wanted to, she would have consumed us. The important thing now is what we are going to do, if Getsuga's betrayal is true, we will soon be attacked by him. What are you talking about, Senko? Senko would tell Higain what Chili had reported. How are you stealing blessings? That bastard dares to go that far? But joining the Osaru is humiliating. Besides, he's so weak that he lost to us. 
How would he defeat a guy as strong as Getsuka? Let's wait a couple of days. I want to verify something. If that Osaru can truly represent victory for us. It's okay Senku, you are an old man who has lived a long time, so I will trust you. The two days had flown by, in Shi's territory, Goku, after having been about to die, had woken up, Sun still alive. Wow, you finally woke up. You had me very worried. I made you something to eat. The food here is disgusting, but you also have dark power. There should be no problem. Thanks for not abandoning me. Again, you and Saru protected me. Goku ate the food that was almost rotten. How could you live so long in this place? Lav. I spent almost all my power to bring you back to life. I also suppressed that dark power for you. For now, I'll just be your shield. It will take me five years to rebuild my body. You will not be able to use spirit beast releases. You can use the Akari, but don't overdo it. Saru, why did you go so far from me? Because you were my partner. How would I let you die? Tears came out of Goku's eyes. She and Saru thought at the same time, it's good to have you back. Are you completely sure that they are in the territories of death? Don't know. She would be very stupid to hide in a place known to us. Or maybe Sadia isn't hiding. He is not afraid, he just made a strategic withdrawal. Why does that Osaru recover his power? Well, it will be of no use to recover it, it is not an opponent for us. But I want to check for myself, if that brat's words are real, or she was just trying to intimidate me. I want to know if that Osaru really is strong enough to surpass the Divine Sect. Let's go for it, Zenko. Very good, Higain, but promise me one thing. If that Osaru has no bad intentions, don't try to kill him. He could be very helpful right now. I won't kill him if he proves stronger than me. A weak subject does not serve as an ally. Kaku and Yura, I'll be right back. Hide your presence. As things are happening, we can be invaded at any time. As you order in Kusama. Those two had left for the Dark Planet. Place where she lived. What's going on Goku? Is the food so bad or why did you suddenly get like this? The food is bad, but that's not the problem. That pair of divine laws is rapidly heading this way. But how? Did I put up a barrier to hide our presences? That is Stello Velo's divine law as a sage. The years have given him great knowledge and I cannot deny that. He must have realized that you were here even without being able to perceive Tuki. But why did they take two days to come kill us if they knew our location? It was easier to attack quickly. Taking advantage of the fact that I was knocked out, did he do it on purpose? Ochi caused them so much damage to keep them for two days? There is something that makes me suspect that it was not so. It was Goku's thought, it'll take them about an hour if they keep up that speed. And while that happens, we will use the Eye of Death to avoid having a fight, right? That would be a good alternative, but Nachi, I want to know the thoughts of the enemy. What was the reason they waited for me to recover? I don't believe in coincidences, but your body must still be affected. It would be good to wait until you are completely healed. A slight smile blushed at Kai, thanks for worrying about my well-being. This time, the two of them are going to get a big surprise, when me and Saru are together. We can be like a quick flash, or have a super resistant body like that immovable queen. Besides, I still have you. You are amazing. Even you was not able to learn Reikiri. And let's not even talk about the Devil's Wrath. And you are capable of doing it. You just need to increase your stamina. It's nice to have met you, she. She who had been captivated by him before. He had made it even more. After an hour, the two divine laws were hovering over the dark planet. A barrier? That idiot brat hopes that this cloak of darkness will prevent her from entering her planet. I don't think it has that function. From my point of view, this serves so that their kinos are perceived outside this barrier. She, remove your barrier. Before our visitors think we are giving them a hostile welcome, the dark barrier would disappear. They just let us in, they must be planning something. Focusing his gaze on the planet, he quickly observed a Losaru Sheila, standing on a dark mist, quickly descending to that place. This fucking place is rotting. The dark energy that invades it does not allow ordinary living beings to inhabit it. An excellent place for your death, don't you think? Shigane, the one that has come to my planet where clearly I have the advantage. Show that you have guts. 
Giant was filled with fury at being treated like a fool by Shi, who was the youngest of the Septa, launching an excumunal supernova at her. I got this. Goku moved to get in front of the attack to let out a loud scream that was very similar to the roar of a beast, completely vanishing the supernova. Relax a bit, I'm sure Shino was trying to offend you. As you know, I am the Purple Ozaro, supposed natural enemy of the Divine Sect, but this does not have to be so. I only seek peace in the world where I live. You and I have a common enemy, the leader of your sect who is also my father. I wouldn't want to have a fight that can be avoided. What do they tell me? Do we defeat Getsuga together or do they prefer to be consumed by him? It looks like a completely different subject. In the past combat, he only thought about destroying. May I consider it, if you get out of my way and allow me to beat the crap out of that idiot of yours for an ally? No, you're not going to touch her, okay? And who is going to stop me? A bloody Osaru who doesn't know how to master his power. Try to stop me, if you can. Higain started moving in all directions to confuse Goku and make a surprise attack to hit Kai. Jigene's weak point, despite being very strong, is that she is too impulsive. Anyway, this will serve to check the strength of this young man or Saru. Akari, Union of the Seven Internal Paths. Light up the 49 key stars and give me the ultimate power. Forbidden power. Akari's release activated. Saru, I'm ready master. How much do you chatter? It's too early for you to start praying. Goku's eyes easily followed Higain's every move. He doesn't move. I'm sure this guy is not able to even see me. I will destroy Shi in his presence. Thinking that he was unable to see her, he directed a large blow of anger that was easily stopped, his fist being caught by Goku's hand. Let go of me, you despicable Osaru. You are going to contaminate my body with your impurities. Hit, Osaru's wrath. Goku's fist formed key into Saru's face, and he delivered a precise blow to the stomach of Solid Idavina, which was launched with impressive speed straight to the planet. I was able to defend myself, I know that, but allow me this time to be the one to protect you. Are you going to kill her? Remember what will happen if you do. Don't worry, I'll just see how far your friend's power reaches, I won't finish her off. And since the quick flash doesn't intervene in combat, I can tell I'm being put to the test. He's so calm having Jigan as his opponent. He knows that he is capable of defeating her, and unlike last time, he is not showing off his great power. Jigan stood up, looking at the drops of blood coming out of her nose and lips, feeling a slight chill. What kind of power did he use to get blood out of my body? In the multiverse, it's Kentasos that can hurt me. Do you still think it will be easy to walk over me to get back a Kai? What a humiliation, this fluid coming out of my body. I'm going to squeeze every last drop of blood out of your body. Jigane launched to attack head on. As he got closer, his palms filled with Kai. He had channeled his enormous power into those points. Chaotic Strike. The brutal power of the chaotic punch smashed into a single fist from Goku. Impossible. With just his hand, the chaotic strike gathers the power of the blessing. That blow is a thousand times more powerful than a normal one. Why was he able to stop him with such enormous ease? In the last encounter he proved to be a complete failure as a warrior. And why do I feel so hopeless? As if all my strengths, including stamina where I'm the best, are outmashed by him. A new chaotic blow shot out, this time successfully landing on Goku's face. I gave it, this time it's finished. Goku's head only turned halfway around. Jigen realized that that blow had had no effect. After all, her other arm was still being held tightly by him. Goku turned around quickly hitting her back, only he would hit her stomach, but it would still cause her terrible pain. It had even knocked the air out of her and she was starting to vomit blood. Was that enough for you to measure my capacity? You're finished, you can't beat me, you're inferior to me. Your blessing may be incredible, but Saru the King of Beasts is much more resilient. His skin is above your supreme resistance blessing. We can keep exchanging blows all day and it will be the same result your chaotic blow will be useless and only my explosive force will be enough to slowly damage your body don't say stupid things I'm just starting Argentine Giants very humiliated that guy had told him that he was better in resistance. He already had that suspicion, but for his enemy to point it out to his face had been a total offense. His body burned from so much anger, no matter the strength of the enemies, divine laws had an advantage in something. 
Unfortunately for them, that Osaru surpassed him in all aspects. He was stronger, faster and last but not least, tougher than them. But the pride of being born in such a famous sect did not make her see reality. I still have my divine mirror. From now on, I'm going to put myself above him. I will reflect with more than double the power of all his attacks. It was Gigan's thought. Come on, what are you waiting for? Come and take me down. Or is that all you got? One question, Lady Vina. How many lives do you have right now? And what does that matter to you? Well, I'll give it to you anyway. I'm on my third life so start shaking. Because every time she revived, Ella was interrupted by Goku. Yes, I already know that story. Every time they revive they get more powerful, but that information is great. I was afraid of giving you a blow that would cause your death. The Akari's strength is so limitless that I have a hard time containing it. 